here is lovely Bexco Convention Center. It is enormous. So, uh, here's the front. A little bit of panorama of the city here. They have Coca-Cola here, so you, everybody should be happy about that. Pretty impressive facility here. Of Bexco. If anybody's interested, you can get married in there. That's Bexco Wedding. It's an enormous exhibit hall. Let's go up the escalator, see what's here as we head in to the main exhibition center. And see the place is enormous. Lots of room. Somewhere there's a Starbucks here. We're gonna go try to find Starbucks. So uh I won't bore you till getting to the top of the uh, escalator. Don't know if you can see in all this light, but this is the Motherload Convention Center where we will all be with uh, 20,000 other people, 20,000 of our closest friends, right here. Is this the full size? Is this the full size? Or is this yeah, is just yeah. is only one third? One third. This yeah. is one third. Yeah. Okay. We're going to use two and a half. Two, yes. We're not going to fill it out to capacity. <laughs> we'll just put some more flowers on the stage. Okay. Well, the rumors are true. There is a Starbucks here. Just before you go into the big hall, you can grab a Starbucks with 20,000 of your closest friends. There you go. I'm sure the lines won't be very large to get a latte or anything There's like Starbucks that. There's Starbucks over there. There's another Starbucks where? Um, across the street over there. So uh, literally across the street. So I can go across the street and get a Starbucks yeah, it, I before I come in. Over there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's bigger. Ah. Yeah. So 10,000 people will only be here and another 10,000 will be at the other place. Okay. Well, let's go look at the menu here. See if it's all in Starbucks. Korean. Yep, this is plenty of play plenty of time to come hang out with everybody else here. Double. The prices are double. Oh, double. Let's see, what do they got here? You get the cafe, latte, cappuccino, all this other stuff you can get. This is a Korean barista here. And double, the prices are double? Double for you. And you can even get your favorite Starbucks mugs. Does it say Korea on it or Mexico? No. But uh, it's a pretty small place, so I'd encourage you to get to your meeting early. If any of you guys decide to drive to uh, Pusan, you know that you've got road traffic information all around here. So you can see where traffic is kind of in bad places, in good places. All the warnings are right here in, in Korean, so you know that'll help you to know to take detours here and there. So, uh, Joyce, do you want to tell us yeah. anything more about this? Um, just outside, that's the subway stop. We that's the subway a stop? Yeah. Uh -huh. take a look. That's not where I get a sandwich, but that's where I can take a little train that goes underground, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not that subway. Not that subway. Oh, man. Yeah, I can show you where the alternative The other side. Oh, that's okay. That's good. So if I'm late, I have to figure this out and make it into uh, the convention center to make it on time, basically. Yeah, that's, that's the okay. At the underground? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe in a little bit. Another day? Yeah, no, we might we might have to take a little look there. Just want to show you what happens if you're late to a meeting at CM 2007. They dress you up in this stuff and you have to scrub the floors here. So make sure that you're on time for any of the seminars and any of the main meetings at CM 2007. No Starbucks for you. You'll be washing floors. Let's go mall. Where if you're looking for a pair of shoes, think you can find some at this store. Or if you need another pair of shoes, you can get some at this store. And we've got the, uh, the kind of spare computer parts you might need. If your printer needs to be fixed, looks like you can come here. Here is your well-being health products full discount store. So, welcome to well-being world here. Ankle braces, of course, sunglasses, very important for your well-being and uh, some walkers. It's a pretty big convention center. You might want to get yourself a little walking stick or catch a massage on one of these chairs. 
or I'm not really sure what this store is, but it uh, you know looks kind of kind of fun, as well as uh, got your book scan. So we are now headed to the food court. I'm sure everybody's wondering what the heck is in the food court. Well, you've got uh, friendly fresh fun here. Looks like a Korean version of 7-Eleven. And you've got some, hey, some, looks like we've got some, what is that, some French food and drink. And then just to make sure, for those of you from the West, you can feel like you're at home, we do have the Golden Arches. So uh, you'll be well fed here. Uh, here's my new buddy at McDonald's as I'm about to get a chocolate milkshake. At least that's what I think I ordered. We'll find out. They do take plastic here, which is a good thing. And uh, let's give you a look at the menu here. We got uh, Detective Conan. For those of you who are into Detective Conan, and a little mezzo piano. Look at all these beautiful food items here. Very lovely. Not sure what Big Mac is in Korean. I need to sign this. Is that right? Sign it. Okay. Better sign that. Thanks a lot. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, oh, it's written right there. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, here we are at a typical Korean uh, meal here. Mike Lee, tell us what we're eating. Yeah, the salad, that's kind of Western. Tell us what we're eating. This is Korean kimchi pancakes. Uh-huh. This is... Um, Jellyfish and some veggies. Uh huh. And, uh, kind of a spicy horseradish wasabi. Yep. Kimchi. Oh, yeah, I gotta love kimchi. Salad with Thousand Island dressing. Yep, very good. Some other type of salad, I'm not quite sure. Uh huh. This is a spicy kind of raw oysters or clam. Uh huh. This is some um, peppers to kind of cook. Uh huh. And then this is kind of your basic um, bulgogi stew. Okay. So it has vegetables, bulgogi beef. And then of course you can do it with rice. Rice with the chopsticks, but the nice thing is you can still use a spoon. So, uh, and for dinner tonight, we're uh, we're going to Outback, right? <laughs> so you can eat all kinds of food here at uh, Mexico. Well, this is the end of our tour of Mexico here. Pretty impressive place, as you can see. And I did find one last cool thing about good old Bexco. Might not be able to see it on the video, but right, see those two buildings right there? As I zoom in, there is an Outback Steakhouse right where that bus went within walking distance. So, uh, there you have it. Looking forward to CM 2007. We will see all of you guys at Bexco.